Now, boys, if you come into the circle, I'll give you a ball, and I'll tell you exactly what to do, and your player will stand, your coach will stand outside this yellow cell line, and we'll all start to work. Are you ready? Okay. Be observing now, coach. Every single move the boy makes, be observing everything he does. Into the circle, boys. You're all right without your helmet, you'll be fine. Into the circle. Boys, into the circle. Now, boys, you can run around solo and hop the ball and bounce the ball. You can bounce the ball down. You can bounce it up. You can throw it up in the air. But you must stay inside the circle and you must play the ball about a hundred times before I stop you. Okay, off you go. Off you go. Coach, you're only observing now and you'll then begin to analyze. And you begin to see patterns, coaches. Begin to see little patterns, body shapes. Any little stiffness or nervousness. And then I'm going to ask you to talk to you by holding. Sorry, come here. Come here, you. I didn't get your coach. Everybody else, keep going. I did, yeah. Yeah, I did you? Yes. Oh, thanks. That's great. You meet? Uh, yeah. Oh. Huh? Call. Call. <laughs> Good boy. Just get it up in your hand and off you go. Now, boys, try and do more. Try and do more with it. That's a great boy. That's a great shift in direction. Lovely. Beautiful. That's it. Do the clever thing now. Handle the ball early. Good boy. Handle, good boy, handle the ball early. Okay, you can only bounce it now on the ground. You can do no other skill. You can't handle it, but you must get around. You gotta get around the whole place, but you can only you can only play with it on the ground. Okay? Okay. Now move around, come on, cut through the circle. Coaches, you get 30 seconds down, you're going to talk to your boy for the first time. Good boy. Keep it moving, that's it. Shift directions, change directions. Every direction. Pick it up again and go again. Good boy. Keep your eye on the ball. But you're, in your peripheral vision, you must see the other boy. Two hands now, pet. Two hands. Good boy. It's okay out there. Bring it in. That's okay. Okay. Now, coaches, collect your boy and you're going to assist. No challenges now for a while. All assist. Coaches, collect your boy. Assist now. Coaches, if you feel like doing the demonstration, do it. If you feel like doing the demonstration, do it. We're on the hop now only. We're only on the hop now. We're only on the hop. Some of you want to eat my Yeah, good man. Five, four, three, two, go boys, go! Boys, go! Hop and hop and hop and hop and bounce in the ball! Bounce in the ball! What did you assist with? Okay, that's right, you're on the ball. What did you assist with? Okay, you're just moving. Now the skill is... The skill is to bounce in the ball. Bounce the ball. Good boy. Bounce in the ball. Bounce in the ball. Good boy. Good boy. Good man. You're into it now. You have it now. Good man. Good man. Good man. Good boy. Why did the ball get away? Okay. Good boy. Okay. So what we want to teach coach is wrists. So if the boy is out here, he's on arms. Because he can't afford his wrists, his wrists aren't strong enough, and he goes into arms. So a very small observation is, this boy is screaming for help. If the coach doesn't recognize the scream, he can't help. The child has to use his wrists, that's his, that's his thing. Okay? High on the balls of his feet, the ball behaves. Okay? The ball behaves. He gets comfortable with the ball. He finds the ball. He gets comfortable with the ball. The boy is challenging himself to more hops. Okay, coach, two sentences for your boy, and away we go. Coach, two sentences for your boy. Good man, that's better. Try it here now, what they told you. Try it here now. Are you up in the balls of your feet? Now you're working. Go! Go, boys, go, boys, go! That's, that's a totally different boy. Hey, coach, super. See what you've done? See what you've done for him? Freed him up completely by a sentence. No big lecture. See it? No big lecture, lads. Just a simple thing. Smallest thing. The boys are totally receptive. That's good. That's good. Good boy. Good boy. Beautiful skill. Good boy, get it up again and away you go. Good boy. Get it up again and away you go.
Okay, five, four, three, see us survive as long as you can, lads. Coach, no mercy if he's out, he's out. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone, blue is gone, blue is gone, call him out, coach. Coach, call him out, green helmet is gone. Take him on now, take him on. Take him on, three gone, two left, three left. Take him on now. Take him on, take him on. Get it going, get it going, gone man, dead. Two left. Take him on now, lads. Take him on, go in and take him on, challenge him. Come on, coaches, help me to win, say that. Help me to win the match, right? Five, four, three, two, match on, go! Match is on, go! Coaches out of the way, the match is on. You're gone. And then you retire, and two gone. Go on, go on, you'll survive, all right. He's gone, he's Good boy. Good boy, you ready? No, thought you were ready, didn't you? And you're a super hurler, so you'll be ready, so. That's the boy. Good boy. So, more awareness of the child and the challenge. Is that okay? So, have you, does he know what to do? So, we'll do a practice now for a minute to get organized. We're not competing yet. So, away you go now and fiddle around with it. Move the feet. Lovely. Very nice. That's good. That's good. You're keeping him on his toes. You're not, not, not like that ball either, Ronan. <laughs> What's that kind? Cynicism. <laughs> of the worst form. Of the worst form. Of the most insidious form, Ronan. Oh. Of, the, <laughs> of the most insidious. Boys, are we ready for the game, do you think? Do you want another few seconds, boys? Hold it. Boys, do you need a few more seconds practice? Okay, the boys said they need more practice. Where you go? Practice now. So you're aiming for the middle, I think, is it? I think you're aiming to bounce in the middle, right in the middle. You count the number of times the ball bounces. The team with the highest number of bounces will win. So if you get 30 and they get 25, we'll know who won. Is that okay? Go. Two, three. Who's counting? Oh, that's super recovery. Brilliant. Let it bounce now. Oh, yes, let it bounce, let it bounce. Good boy. Oh, what a recovery. What a recovery. Oh, clever play. Can I provide the ball for the forward coming through? That's what you're doing, isn't it? What are you doing? Providing the ball for the forward coming through or the midfield man coming through. Okay, let's you do your work now. You go and you go and talk to your coaches. You have to practice. You have to say what I said. Now, keep the ball down a little bit lower, around hip high when it's hopping. That's it. So, that's the ball. Your body shape has changed now. So, do you see the way it changed his body shape? By a simple, a single sentence. You see that, Sean? And he's, he got the message now that his hips were the problem, but he hadn't got that message before. Now, see the work he's done with his hips now. You see that now, Ronan? The way the hips are working. Okay, five. Ronan and, his, and uh, Adam are gone to 50 there in the quiet. They coach a different way. There's no single way of coaching. There's no single way of coaching. Ronan and... Cahal again. Sorry, Cahal. I know you well enough to put uh, so many names to try. I can't. They coached a totally different way. And Adam got it completely through the different way. So there's no single way of getting a, tr a story true to a boy. What, what have you learned about this whole game? To make it easier for my friend. You see that? You see that beautiful idea? Okay, boys, away we go. Moving nice. Oh, what a recovery. This is to cause confusion in the in the eye line. Okay, do you get it? Causing confusion in the eye line. Okay, you got it there? Now, we'll give you a little practice now to get used to each other. Okay, away you go. We'll give you a bit of practice to get used to it. Boys, come in in front of me. Great boys, super stuff there. Well done, I'm only watching you pair mostly. Well done. Come on in, pet. Okay. What am I doing, coaches, as a coach? What am I doing? Challenging. Challenging, okay. Who's doing the assisting? Yeah. 
So you're assisting that to the process that's happening to my They love it. They love and I challenge that you assist them. Can you see it? Yeah. So we have the dance going. I'm doing the challenge and you're doing the assisting and the boy says, this is great. We're not being made fools of. The challenge would make a fool of him if he didn't have you to assist. Okay, who's doing the coaching? The boys are coaching each other in their way. We're going to start diagonal and be ready for the call. Diagonal! Move your feet now. Move your feet now. Gain control. Your friend. Good recovery, Ronan. But brilliant recovery. The person beside you. The person beside you. Oh, what a change. Diagonal! 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 Person beside you! And Stephen. Stephen, okay. Adam, come in a small bit, make it square. Come in a small bit now. So I'll take your ball. Will you put that? Yeah, the ball's in the corner. So they're going, we're going around that way, throwing and catching. Yeah. Nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, go. Carl, make him turn. Carl, make him turn his body. Carl, make him turn his body. His anchor foot is still anchoring. His anchor foot is still anchoring. Get him, get him moving. So get the body, Sean. Get the body to fully turn. Okay. Okay, hold the ball. Stephen, can I have your hurling ball? Ronan, can I have you? Okay, Ronan. Watch what we... Okay, mighty coach. Mighty coach. Mighty. So the player always, always, the body wants to do the minimum. Now, I am not my body. I am me, and my body should take orders. But sometimes the body doesn't take the orders that it gets. And uh, you go there, Sean, for me. So I get the ball from Ronan. Now, if a coach allows that to happen, he's allowing me to trap myself in my own body. My body is getting no instruction other than my arm moved, and I have a good hand. So the coach could fall for that because I caught the ball, and because I gave it to Sean, the coach could be pleased with me. But he's letting me down. So what does, I, what does the coach want from me? I'm going to do the demonstration, coaches, and you make sure your boy gets the whole lot. So there's my anchor position there. You watching me now? Go back, Ronan, small bit. That's my anchor position, right, Ronan? You hold on to the ball now till I'm ready. Okay, so we'll do it both ways, right? That's grand. So my anchor position. Do you see me walking on my anchor position? I'm playing centre back. I go to every ball, but I get back centre back. I will go back to your original pairs and get the skill developed. So you have to do it. See that movement? So let your feet go loose. Oh, ho! he's got. Now you see the power of the demonstration. You couldn't talk about that. It's the demonstration he's going to do it. Coming inside. Coming on. Coming inside. Don't we? Do we all know the skill, Adam? So what's been the routine? Whatever I say. You'll be listening to me, but you, that doesn't mean you won't concentrate on your skill. You'll keep on skill. So we start diagonal. Go. Step in and step back. Now. Step in and step back. Coach is pulling back to base. Step in and step back. Step in and step back. Step in and step back. Hey, super here, boy in blue. Super job. Coaches, brilliant job done. Hey. Okay. Super job, Stephen. Adam. You're calling. Call. You clear the, clear the debris there. Hold it. Name. David, you're, you're calling. Okay. My job and Ronald's job is to get 
10 consecutive hits. So my job is to provide the ball that Ronan can hit. What's your job, Ronan? The ball that I can hit. So the, what we want in the exhibition and the demonstration is the boy coming in, turning to the ball and striking the ball to Ronan with the control power. With the control power, full alignment of the body, a full switch of the body every time. A full switch of the body every time. So here I am. Here I am. This is my position. Once Ronan has struck, I decide to go that way or to go that way. But if I already have decided and the ball comes here, I'm in trouble. So I must come back into this position, the ready position, and then take the ball that's coming. Swing the Harleys out, swing the Harleys, swing the Harley, move your feet, swing the Harley, swing it, swing it, swing it, swing it, good boy, swing the Harley, swing the Harley, swing the Harley, move your feet and swing the Harley. Hold it, Mir now, you're not to give out to yourself anymore. Okay, you're doing a great job for us. Okay. Don't give out to yourself anymore today, is that okay? Yeah. How did I pick up on that? Yeah, so he doesn't need to give out to himself. We don't want you giving out to yourself. Hey, move your feet, everything's good, everything's good. Just move your feet. Move your feet, move your feet. Move your feet. You'll have no trouble when the feet are moving. Hey, that's fine by us. That's fine by us, we're only beginning. We're only beginning. You do that, because that's telling you I'm afraid, I'll miss it if I lift it. He's telling you everything you need to know, but we can't read it because we're blind. Is that okay, coaches? So the boy is doing that because he thinks, well, sure, if I lifted the ball, he'd be going, what do you want me to do? He's screaming at you. And what are you doing about it? Okay, because we don't know what he's saying through his body. So we want the boy full freedom. We want the full, the full swing, the full body alignment every time. We want him the full alignment. We want that. We don't want boys doing that. Do we? So will you strike the ball like I showed you there? Hi, come here. So good. Just so good. Did you see what I saw on top of the swing? Did you see that? Did you, did you, did you pick it up? Unbelievably beautiful. The way he, he took everything I said and did it without hesitation. Hey, clean voice, one sound. Clean voice, one sound. Clean voice, one sound. We want that to happen. We want that to happen, okay? Don't apologize, we want that to happen. Coach, just words. Coach, just words. Loud and clear, one word. Side. Ah, oh, beautiful. Line up four boys, four boys watching. Four boys watching. Five, four, three, two, start. One. Stay open your own patch now. Stay open your own patch. Stay open your own patch. And change. Good boy, Stephen. Good boy, Stephen. Very good. Good boy. And change. Coaches, keep coaching now. The boys are into it. Coach now. Coach now. Coach now. Coach now. Coach now. And change. Play on. Don't coach. Don't after the ball for a boy. The athlete runs after the ball. The athlete runs after the ball. Play on now. Full swing. Full swing. Bring it back to yourself. If there's no one there to assist, he won't trust us anymore. So once we have the challenge, assistance is in. So what's the difference now? There's so much power, it's hard to get the next shot away. Yeah. Try it again now. The second shot is going to be important. Now, see, so it didn't hold it. It didn't come past there. Hold it. You didn't please yourself there. I saw by your face you weren't happy. Why weren't you happy? Yeah, and he, I was here, but you're behind and you can't read his face. Telling him what he's experienced. He was disappointed with himself. Now, if there's nobody there to know that he was disappointed with himself, we may as well not be here. You get it? Do you get it now? So the body language is telling you all the stories are being told. But who's reading them? We become more aware today. They have their little challenge. Hit the ball. What's our challenge? 
The whole big other world. Is that okay? And that's what I call fair. D, come on. Come on, Stephen. You have a big pull. You have a big pull. You have a big pull, Stephen. How are you, Stephen? Go on, Stephen. Okay. Okay, Stephen. What's hard about that? Getting over and back. Getting over and back. And the heart rate comes up. Coaches, the heart rate comes up. Stephen, now trust me, and this is all good. Feel your own heartbeat now, Stephen. Do you see where I got you? Yeah. So we can do our strength and conditioning training with 13 year old boys without ever going near weights or anything. This will do core work. It gets the heartbeat really up there, but he's also challenged by the game. It isn't weights. There's no challenge in weights. The challenge is to get my feet right, to get. Stephen, give yourself a, ch a chance. What will happen you if this hit? You certainly will. Because otherwise, you won't be in the world. You got it? See where everybody gets vulnerable. He became vulnerable after his brilliant shot. He said, I have it. That's when you died. You thought you had it. See, that's the difference, isn't it? See, you, you did a brilliant shot, but, but when he was lingering there, what should you have done next ball? Either put it back there, when he was rushing in, isn't it? Cut against the grain. So if Sean was coming this way and the ball was going out, he wouldn't, would you get back? But he left it here. He left it here sitting on the plate. Every second shot missed. Why? The anchor foot. The anchor foot. He wasn't in the same spot in his own mind. He thought he was moving. He feels movement. But the anchor foot is killing. Instead of that coming through to here. You see the difference? So he's trying to hit the ball that way instead of coming through to here. So the observation will pick that up if your eyes were good. Okay, something that massive big you learned today about coaching. Yeah, my observation skills need... To come up. Even though you have good observation skills, you, you want to come up better, is it? So we know that Sean has good observation skills. I work with Sean a lot. But he's saying now today in front of everybody here that he's going, he sees another level of opportunity in his observation skills. Actually, to, to talk to players as a second one, it's, it's not so simple, is it? Because we, 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 what's in our ATM? Now. We only talk when we get mad. Now, yeah, we're, we're so wrapped up in our organization that we don't coach. Okay, that's common now. We, we, we only understand that the last three or four years. Nobody knew, nobody knew it before. We're so wrapped up in how we're doing now, how we're doing next, that we don't actually coach at all. How did the boys take the challenging and assisting today? The last thing was a big challenge, wasn't it? But what was there for them immediately? See the difference? This boy is so happy. Were they so happy? Were they? So happy and so relaxed. Even though they failed on balls, they still stayed happy because they knew the assistance was coming. Now, what, what, what? I know. I'm, I'm all for this now. I'm all for this now. Yeah, I'm all for this. What is it that makes it enjoyable? If we could... Box that, we were great coaches. And leave everything, anything that's stopping the boys' enjoyment, leave it away. That, if we could, we had another five hours, we'd get to that. The idea of um, being able to condition them by stepping up the drill, you don't have to do a match or a race or anything. Did you see the heart rate? Who, who, who did the heart rate? See it? Did you see it? At max. He's only able to stay at max for 20 seconds. Watch that. He's only able to stay at max for 20 seconds. But it's vital for the human being's wellness that the max, that he does go to max. Eamon Cockton is on the radio about that this time. The children's hearts are not being taken to max. Ever. In the round of a year. And then there's others who are playing six sports who are being taken to max way too often. The, the, the balance is all wrong. We have something like 40 or 50% who are not playing anything. And we have the other 40 or 50% playing five or six sports. Neither of them are right. Neither of them are right. So the imbalance is there. They were focusing more on Why? 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 Because they were up to speed. But why? 
because of what you said. Because of what you said. It's always because of what you said. It doesn't happen itself. It's because you said the right thing. Or you said it in the right tone. Or you said it at the right distance from the child. Shouting across at a, at a boy in the field might do damage to one boy. Now you did super work there with your boy in the blue t-shirt. So what, what did you do? Isn't it? That, that, that's about the size of it. You can go from there. If you don't have that, you can't go. You have a whole lifetime to play with that. Building a rapport into the system and right. It's not separate from it. No. It goes on all the time. It's, it's, it's not something you do the first shake hands. It goes on. Carl, how'd you get on there with Adam? The, the Did you make much of a difference for him? Well, I felt at the start, you know, the way you mentioned there about how he's on the leg. Yeah. Start, he was bleeding, that he was striking the ball. Was striking yeah, the, yeah. So then I thought, when I explained something, What exercise caused him to lose the anchor leg? He was, he was moving. Who can remember now? What, what exercise caused the boys to move? The switching routines. The diagonal to the friend, to the side, to the friend, to the diagonal to the side. It wasn't one. It was the switching. It isn't the one that made him. It is the switching that made him. You played. And you played. You saw that? So the drill sometimes is a subtle gain for you while the player is having enjoyment. A subtle change, very small and very subtle. See what they do, right? That's enough. Because we know how to do it. We know the what. We know the what. We have no problems with ourselves with what's. What's in your ATM machine? That we drive fear. We create fear everywhere we go. What's in our ATM machine? I cause fear everywhere I go. What's in our ATM machine? See it? I cause fear everywhere I go. That's what's in your ATM machine. You've got to clean out your ATM machine and reload it. Can you get that image? Reload it. The same as that, they should be normally finding out the negatives that they should be doing and the positives you have to And you wonder why they're not enjoying themselves. You get the connection? Now you played and you coached today and you tutored. So... From the three points of view, from a player's point of view. From, from player, the progression. Right, the progression. Can you get that? That we got just enough help at the right time. We got our burst. We got our bit of feedback and we got straight back into our burst again. We weren't, uh, we weren't waiting long for another goal. Or when I handed over responsibility for the calls to the players, what happened? We want peak performance. We want leadership on the field. How did I do it? I gave him leadership. I didn't talk about it. I didn't preach about it. I gave Adam. Adam, you're on the call. He can't do it and he shouldn't do it. It should be told by the coaches to the coaches. Yeah, now Sean. Where are we, where are we at this stage in, in, in the big project? At this stage, we're at the start. Yeah. We'll have 100 by when? We'll have, I suppose, we'll have 100 by the end of the year. Okay. So that's the first tranche of coaches. We'll have 100. After our next course. Yeah. Um, that's not too bad, is it? Is it better than you thought? Could we double it the following year? More than double it. If he all bring five, sure, that, won't be, that won't be doubling it. What'd that be? Five times it. <laughs> Keep the sums right, yeah? <laughs> There's no kind of sums over here. Multiply by five gives you three times as much. <laughs> new sums coming. Every day there's new sums. Well. So I suppose from, from our point and the reason that we, we all, every course we run, we invite Potty up for a day. Um, I was delighted that after you got hot on Friday night that you were able to see the to come today. Um, so it's not known, I suppose. I think it's always important that You'd always hear that there's a disconnection between what happens in Crow Park and what happens at Munster Council and what happens on the ground. And I think when it comes to coach education, that's not true. And I think Paddy and the lads are living proof of that because they'll always come 
they'll always deliver to us great modules and great support in terms of when we're rolling out courses and running courses. And I suppose they have further expertise on top of what any of the rest of us delivering the course is. So it's great to have a variety of voices and a variety of opinions and ways of doing it. Um, I know the first time, going back to this morning, I know the first time when we were in, I think it was inside the Nimrick, we went through the how to coach skills. And I mean, I was working probably four years at that stage on a full-time basis. And it only hit me going out the door that really I hadn't a clue. You know, that I, I set a mark of 30 as a beginner. I probably wasn't that 30 walking out that door. Okay. So that's the realistic side of it. And if it takes us a few months to get to the minimum, which is 30, it's a few months well spent. Once we continue to practice what's been told to us and the guidance we've been given, if we work upon it, our figures will increase, increase in the various areas. Um, at this stage, I suppose there's 60 marks on it. At this stage, I'm still not near 60. There's still a lot of work to do. And that's three and a half years down the line from when I first heard it. So, okay. as I said earlier, we are talking a four or five year practice. Yeah. In terms Hold of it there now. I, I, I am going to state my case. I reckon now I know around 20% of what needs to be known or what is available in coach. You with me? I know 20% of what could be known. Einstein on his deathbed said he realizes now that he knows nothing of what could have been known. Do you see what he's saying? Knowing nothing of, he was the greatest living human being in his time. He discovered things that nobody else could even comprehend on his own. But he said he knew nothing of what could be known or what was out there to be known. So where am I? I reckon 20%. You can rate yourself wherever you are. And on we go as equals. Is that fair? So Sean really has nailed it there. Once upon a time, we, th we thought we knew all the what's. The what's are only a small part of the whole story, are they? Are they? But we thought they were the whole story. So Sean, that's brilliantly put. But the fact is that we're all equalized now, isn't it? That I'm equal to you and you're equal to me in every way. In every way. Okay, will you wrap it at that? Yep. Remain about it. Thanks. Great to see you. Thanks for that. Thank you so much. Well done. Mighty man. Well done. Well done there. I enjoyed it.